Yo, what's going on friends? It's Jonathan and welcome back to another JC production where we deliver your daily dose of hotness and oh my gosh, do I have something so hot for you today. So some of you might already know, but I recently came back from NAB, which stands for the National Association of Broadcasters. Basically, it's like a giant playground for camera lovers of all kinds. Literally, if you have read or seen it online, there's a good chance it was at the show. There are plenty of 2019 NAB videos already on the interwebs, and I wanted to do something a little bit different to make my content stand out from all the other content, so I took a different approach. Rather than doing typical event coverage, I walked around the NAB floor and I found what I feel is the perfect camera kit under 2,500 bucks if you're looking to get started in content creation or filmmaking. Now this kit includes a camera, a lens, a tripod, a tripod head, a microphone, some lighting, storage for your computer, pending that you have a computer, some software, and a few other things. We're gonna talk all about it. The reason why I took this approach is because I was already on the floor so I could physically touch, use, and experience all these items and share them with you gorgeous people. Obviously, one of the most important parts of a gear setup is the camera you're going to be shooting on. And for that, I chose the X-T30. For a thousand bucks, you get the camera, a zoom lens or a prime lens, you get to pick which one you want depending on the bundle, and that's an incredible deal. Some of you guys might be wondering why I didn't choose the A6400 since it's pretty much the same price and you get a flip up screen, and we're gonna discuss why in just a minute. The Fuji X-T30 has full sensor readout just like the A6400, which means it records 4K by oversampling a 6K image. However, unlike the A6400, it also oversamples 1080p from a 3K readout. You can record 4K UHD and DCI at 30 and 23.98 frames per second. But more importantly, you can record true 24 frames per second while also being able to adjust your shutter speed to 1 48th. You can record 120 frames per second in 1080p, which looks fantastic. You get a USB-C port that allows you to power the camera using like a battery bank or external power. But also if you hook up a dongle to it, it converts to a headphone jack. Whereas the A6400 doesn't have a headphone jack, period. Now, this is a personal preference, but I personally think that Fuji's colors are amazing and their film simulations are really unique. Plus, this isn't like a throwaway beginner's camera. This is a camera that can grow with you over time because Fuji's customer service and product support is second to none. They have been known to bring new features to cameras that are like two years old. In fact, they just did this not too long ago by bringing 4K to a camera that was almost two years old. That's, that's pretty incredible. Oh yeah, and speaking of growing with you, the Fuji the XT30 can record 4K 10-bit 422 externally to a device like the Ninja 5. This means that whenever you want to step up your image quality because you feel it's time or squeeze a little bit more out of your footage in post-production, you can. Since the Fuji X-T30 is so tiny, I wanted to make sure we picked out a small ultra portable tripod that offered great stability without breaking the bank. For 219 bucks, you can get the iFootage Gazelle TA5, which is an ultra compact aluminum tripod that features a small telescoping center column, a ball head type mechanism, and when paired with the Komodo head for an additional 154 bucks, you get an insanely fast quick release system whenever you need to break it down. They also offer a carbon fiber version of the same tripod that has an extended telescoping center column and weighs even less. For a mic, I decided to go with the Rode Wireless Go, even though I wasn't able to get any hands-on time at NAB. It's small, it's light, ultra portable, and really affordable, coming in at 199 bucks. The best thing is, just like the Fuji X-T30, it can also grow with you as you progress. So the wireless transmitter features a built-in mic, so there's no reason to run out and buy an expensive lav right away. However, as you get more funds in and you wanna step up your audio game, it does feature a 3.5 millimeter locking jack, so so you can buy a more expensive or more premium lapel mic and plug it in in the future. Next up, we need some lighting. Aperture debuted a small ultra portable RGB light called the Amaran ALMC. It features wireless charging, which is incredible to see on a light like this. It can quick charge via USB-C in 75 minutes and you can get 100 minutes of use at full brightness on a single charge. The brightness is rated at 1000 lux at 0.3 meters distance and since this is an RGB light, you get access to 36,000 different colors. 
There's also different effects you can use, such as fireworks, explosions, breathing, etc. These can be controlled by the buttons on the light itself and seen on the built-in display. However, in the future, this light and Aperture's other lights will be able to link to a Bluetooth mesh network using the Citus link bridge and controlled on your phone. Hold up, the best thing about this light is it's only 79 bucks. It's compact, it's portable, and it's affordable. Assuming you already have a computer, as a beginner filmmaker and content creator, I feel like it is imperative to invest in reliable storage. Lacie showed off their new Too Big Dock, which definitely fits the bill. Coming in at 599 bucks, it is on the pricier side. I completely understand that there are far less expensive options out there, but most are not gonna give you the added flexibility or reliability that the Too Big Dock offers. You get SD and CF card slots right on the front, which is great if you're using a laptop or desktop that requires you to use a dongle or perform the reach around. On the backside, you get dual Thunderbolt 3 ports that support daisy chaining up to five devices. This means you can add on more docks as you need to over time and raid them together. There's also a USB-C 3.1 port back here if you wanted to connect a display. The two big dock comes in sizes ranging from eight terabytes to 28 terabytes, but if you're just getting started, eight terabytes will be plenty. Finally, let's talk about video editing software. There are a ton of choices out there. You have Adobe CC, Final Cut Pro 10, Sony Vegas, Avid, plus a lot more. However, if you just dropped a ton of money on gear and you're just getting started, you may not have the money to spend on video editing software. This is where DaVinci Resolve comes in. DaVinci Resolve is owned by Blackmagic, and while I was at NAB, they showcased Resolve 16, which has a lot of optimization improvements. I've been a Resolve user for a while now, ever since Resolve 12.5, and personally, I feel it takes the speed of Final Cut and combines it with the functionality of Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Adobe Audition. The killer thing about Resolve is if you're just getting started, you can get it absolutely free, and when you have the cash, you can upgrade later on down the road to the studio version. Personally, I would stay away from Resolve 16 as your main video editor since it's still in its infant beta stages. However, Resolve 15 is really reliable, it's really fast, and it has a lot of functionality. You're not gonna be disappointed, even with the free version. Well, you kind-hearted, big brain, beautiful creatures of the web, that about does it for this video. Hopefully it was a little bit different than the rest of the NAB coverage videos out there and you enjoyed it. Again, if you're interested in any of the items that I covered, they can be found in the description below. If you have any questions or just wanna give me some feedback, leave it down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, drop it a like, helps me out, help me help you to produce better content, help the channel grow. We're gonna, we're gonna have explosive growth this year for sure. We're gonna do it, so focus, let's, Let's, let's do it. If you guys wanna see some behind the scenes hotness or just some different hotness other than YouTube hotness, make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter and I will talk to you glorious individuals in the next video. Nay Rose, oh yeah, I'm finna pop, yeah baby, hit the spot like summer and some dipping dots. Jackpot sound coming at you through a different slot. You can try your luck but end up missing from a living shot. Ooh yeah, oh baby, it's my season. Straight up out the water, I'm so well, I'm artesian.